Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Exotic Wine Travel. I'm your host, Matthew Horky. This is our last day in Cyprus. We're a little bit sad, but we're actually at the home of this wonderful small producer. We are actually uh, just north of uh, just south of Nicosia, and we're at the Anima Concept. And I'm lucky enough to be here with a proprietor, winemaker. Lafteris, am I pronouncing it? Yes. <laughs> Thanks for being on the show. I really appreciate it. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming. Your wine is, is awesome, first of all, for, first and foremost. Thank but you. first of all, uh, we got to talk a little about some historical difference. Can you tell me what actually Comandaria is? Comandaria is a very ancient wine produced in the island of Cyprus since five and a half thousand years ago. Okay. Uh, many of the ancient poets, Greek poets, have spoken about that. And uh, as is said in uh, history, Many wars have been uh, planned only for conquering uh, those vineyards producing exactly this wine. Uh, during the centuries, the British came, uh, took over the production and changed the, na the name from the ancient Greek Nama mm. into Kumandaria, which is known today, okay. and started to uh, sell this wine to Europe. Uh, today, uh, we try to revive all that old uh, culture yes. that uh, we had according to this wine. Never forget that Cyprus is a very difficult place to live during the last centuries according to so many wars have been here, so many occupations. So uh, now we are uh, trying to revive all that culture that mm -hmm. uh, have been raised in that, in that island. Uh, Comandaria is uh, a type a, a type of wine, a sweet aged uh, wine made from sun dried grapes, which is uh, the perfect product that we can uh, produce in this area, in this territory, yeah. in this terroir. Yes, uh, the plants uh, have been living here. Those plants, those uh, varieties of grape, have been living in the island for thousands of years. Yeah, so. At the right regions, they are producing really fine quality, and uh, of course, a very long potentially a very a very long potential of aging in the bottle, yeah. which is the main characteristic. And unfortunately, for some people, uh, fortunately for me, uh, the island can produce very small qu quantities yeah. of this product. So uh, we address those few thousand bottles that we produce as an island every yeah. year to people that they will understand the finesse and they will enjoy that sun-burned, let's say, type of wine. I mean, Comandaria is one of, could be the oldest appellation, wine appellation in the world. I think it's a very undervalued wine in the world of wine. Tell me how your wine, the Anima Concept, is different than Comandaria. It's the same, but different. Yes, it's the same. Uh, the difference is mainly that Comandaria herself is uh, made with an, let's say, outdated uh, recipe. Yeah. And I'm trying, as in all of this, as a modern winemaker, to bring that wine into the contemporary era that we are living. Uh, wine today is not just a product that you drink to enjoy or... Uh, whatever, but it's uh, an art, yeah. and it's an art. I'm speaking about Comandaria that can be uh, can have a long live, yeah, because of the potential uh, of aging in the bottle, which is more than fifty years. So we're talking about something that we are are gonna produce today, and it will be exposed to the people for many decades, and of course increasing its quality by aging in this very same uh, bottle. Uh, the main differences that we use is the, f the, the care that we take to all the stages of the production, mm. starting from the cultivation of the vineyard, which is a very old vineyard, 120 years old, uh, located in one of the uh, highest altitudes in Cyprus, yeah. approximately 1,200 meters. And... Uh, this very old vineyard is giving us very small quantities, but high quality of uh, grapes yeah. that we sun dry them uh, for 40 days, right? For 40 days on uh, uh, specially designed uh, tables. Uh, 
so the the process might slow down mm-hmm. uh, and uh, produces keeps uh, the, the original fruit aromas of the grape mm-hmm. uh, after that the the boss is not me the boss is the grape itself the year itself i'm uh, I like every year to identify characteristics of the very, very, mm. of that very uh, year in in my wine, and I would like after a few decades, someone who will open a bottle of that will bring himself into the year that have been produced. Mm. Uh, our production is very small, uh, straight out of this single vineyard. Yeah, approximately two thousand bottles uh, per year. All the bottles are numbered, as you can see. I'll show you the bottle right here. This is the Anima Concept. Uh, 2012, individually numbered. This is bottle 1,769. You won't be able to see that, but I'll put the links in the description box. The website's also very beautiful. Your design is really beautiful. Thank you. Every, I mean... It's everything made from uh, our family. Yeah. Uh, Anima Concept, that's why it's named a concept. It's a... Uh, combination let's say of two different artists uh, me as a winemaker and my wife Christina as a jewelry designer mm-hmm. and just because we are working on a project which is long living can uh, age in the bottle for so many time uh, we would like to present to the owners that they will have those bottles to their collection after we sell them uh, a fine uh, wine and as well, a fine item, a beautiful item yeah. for their for their uh, collection. And and this, I mean, this really has beautiful color. Uh, Shireen, lo- Shireen, I love this. I mean, I have the 2012 vintage we tasted here at 4.5 out of five on Vivino. Uh, Shireen really wanted to come here because she said, "Oh, it's such an awesome." concept bringing up ancient tradition and making it modern so yeah. thank you for having us on thank you for having us thank you for us. coming yeah. from... check out their wines or they're, they're uh, and the website uh that sells them all over the world we will put the link in the description box if you like this video please subscribe to our youtube channel exotic wine travel check out the anima concept and i will see you at the next episode find one of those